Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I'm Nye. I'm Miko, and we are See, helping a very we're... forgetful little bear. Speaking of being forgetful, ah, we're on... Are we on acoustics? No. I think are so. We on... No, we're on the swing. Okay, we're on swing now. I'm trying to remember exactly which mini game we're supposed to be working on. Uh, but we're on the swing now. Which, this is probably the, uh... The minigame I dislike out of Pooh the most. All the other mini games are kind of okay, but this one. So we are on Pooh Sticks. Okay. I knew I was thinking of Pooh Sticks for a reason. Hey, look! It's Eeyore. He's having just a grand old day. In fact, it looks like he's drowning. Let's see. Does, will they show him drowning again? That's hard to... Yep, look, see, he's drowning. Okay, now he's doing better. I I'm kind of curious, how how would you... Eh, now he's drowning again. How would you pull Eeyore out of that? If you're as, as big as... As big as Pooh is. How would you manage this? I mean, let's just ignore the fact that Piglet's there. But, um... You know, I think I'm not going to help them at all. I am not at all interested in this transaction. Let's go see if we can find uh, some treasure. Because I remember there being treasure around this hill. Is there? Am I, am I, am I imagining things? Looks like everybody's here. I saw Rabbit. I saw Tigger. Piglet, of course, is here. Hmm. Ah, uh, there's no treasure. Wow. Okay, well, Pooh, can I help you in some way? You know what? Fine. I'll solve the issue. I'll solve the problem. I'll go save Eeyore. See? I did it. It was me. Thank you, other you. And, of course, the tail's missing. So, do we need to discuss Eeyore having his tail applied with a nail every other day? Probably not. I mean, we could, but... Look, I, there's a word I'm thinking of, and it starts with an F. And it ends with Edish. That's as far as I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say, whoa, hey there, let's not, let's, let, let's not go there, huh? Un I mean, it's... That's really all I can say, really. Okay, so we're going to take Pooh to the swing. We're going to go do a very... Actually, maybe this is the one I do like. No, that's right, this one's good. It's the Kingdom Hearts 2 version that I don't like. Because Kingdom Hearts 2 does a very similar version of this. Oh, I have to wait for Pooh, don't I? Pooh? Are you coming? Look, I'm at the swing. Are you coming? Uh, would you like to join me? <laughs> no? Okay. So... Maybe I... Do I talk to Owl? Oh, Pooh will follow you if you... Ta right. Target Pooh and he... Pooh and he will come along. And so we'll just... Right, this is the part I don't like. Now I remember... I will say, there's something fantastic about Sora's walk animation. <laughs> Just Sora with Pooh behind him. This is a really fantastic train. The strut? Yeah. This just... Mm-hmm. Yeah. I am a boss. There should be explosions behind me. That's the type of walk this is. Hey, ladies. Do you like what you see? Yeah. Check my red pants. That is that's, that. That's what this looks like. And then Pooh looks like a mindless honey zombie. You know, he's got that blank smile on his face. He, he just pretty kinda, much is, though. So he kind of just waddles forwards. I mean, like addiction's one hell of a thing. Honey's a hell of a drug. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah, let's. We can do that. 
Okay, so teach us, oh owl, how to do this mini game. Get ready to push. How do you push? How do you push, owl? How do you swing? Press R1 to give Pooh a push. Yes, we're being taught how to do a swing set. Uh-huh. I am literally being taught how to use a sw how to use a uh, how to use a um a swing. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's just a matter of timing. Whenever Owl spreads his wings, you press the button. It doesn't do what the game is telling you to do. You don't press it when Pooh is you know, at you know, at the right point. You press it when Owl does his thing. I never figured that one out. Like, I think you do it when Pooh is right there, so you push him on time, but Right. Hey look, there is the tail on a nail. And we have attached it. I never want to have my hand this close to a stuffed animal's butt again. There's also why why does why does Eeyore's tail have a bow on it? Hmm. I would like this to be explained. I don't know. It's just there are, these, there are these things that you see. Excellent question. Really. We have uh, stop has been upgraded to stopra. Not like Stormer that had stop. anything any involvement. <laughs> Okay, now we go to the next event. Oh, the tree this, stumps. The tree stumps. This is the actual... There's two mini games here. And uh, at least one of them is kind of difficult. Oh, God, yes, I know exactly the one I think you're thinking of. Uh-huh, probably. There's also several treasure chests here to pick up that are actually hard to reach. Okay, let's go look around a little bit. Um, okay, so there's number one is up there. Let's go get the treasure chest first. Because that's probably the least tedious of the things. This is, you want to have a glide when you're here. Oh, come on. Do I have glide? Do, oh, yes, I do. Right. It's right. I keep on having to remind myself that in this game, glide is circle, not square. Because we, we don't have square glide yet. There's some dark matter. Which we're going to want, even if it will turn our brain inside out. Or whatever dark matter is supposed to do. I always hear that dark matter does bad things. I forget. Is there... How do, how do I get to that one? There's you ha Each one of these treasure chests, you have to go a specific way to reach. Is this... This is it? Okay. There's that one. Mithril Shard. Uh, there should be about two more... Can I just get in here? Thank you. Ploy. I'll just pick up my shield 2G. Okay. Gummy pieces, because I want those. Can I, uh... Is, I forget, is there something in here? Might be. No. No. Oh, well, well. There, Sora's in here now. I mean... <laughs> yes, there is. There's a human. I think that... I'm trying to remember wh where... I first heard that joke. I can't remember, but it was it was something like phrased exactly like that. You know, hey, what's in the box? I don't know. Let me go look. There's nothing in here. Yes, there is. What is there? There's a human in there now. You know, it was yeah, it was like a total dad joke. Okay, I think that's everything. Listen, as people can see, you know, we're already getting our money's worth out of the uh... out of Glide. Out of Glide, yeah. There's the bouncing spot. Everybody's got a bouncing place. Okay, so let's bounce. To bounce, we need some pointers. Press the O button to jump. Biggest pointers ever. But Owl, you don't bounce. Yes, but I know everything. I may not bounce myself, but I know how to bounce. <laughs> oh my god, Owl admits that he's not the best at everything. He doesn't know everything. Bye, Owl. I do enjoy that joke. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is Simon Says. And it's obnoxious because of it. 
It is, it is literally Simon Says. You have to bounce the exact sequence that Tigger bounces. And I can't remember how hard this actually gets. Also, don't touch the ground like I just did. I was expecting to be able to glide. I guess I'm not allowed to. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, gliding has become a bit of a crutch for me. You only got it a couple episodes ago. Well, but muscle memory. You know? Wonderful. Yeah, and now I'm remembering this one. Not as bad as the one I thought it was, but it's still not pretty good. Oh, it gets worse, because that's that's episode one of it. Yeah, that's part one. You know, you gotta... You, boing, know, you have to actually boing, follow the entire boing, thing. The problem is boing. the camera yeah. is ridiculous at showing you exactly where to go. Because the camera shifts locations every time Tigger jumps. So you have to... It always points in kind of the same direction, so you have to kind of be aware of exactly the jump that Tigger is making. Otherwise, you're just going to screw it up. Then he jumps back here. The problem is, I've never been good at this type of game. Okay, here's the hard one. Bounce up to the um, thing up there, then down, and then over. And yes, you do have to do it just like that. The problem is, it's making this jump and landing right can be a problem. Okay, but I think we're okay. There we go. Okay, so that's one of the two mini games here done. Thank you, Rue. Rue? Hey, did I do well? The Wait, the big one? Uh-oh. Now I gotta do the big one. Okay, so this is the other minigame. So in this minigame, we literally just hit nuts into the pot without falling over. Without falling off. Damn it. If the falling off is the problem. And you get a certain amount of points for doing it right. That gets me one point, apparently. I don't know the difference between the points. I, I don't know... Maybe if you hit it in midair, you get more points, and if you don't... I never figured that one out. Wow, we got eight points for that, apparently. Ten. Ten points? I you thought went, I was at 12. You went, you went, yeah, you went from 12, and you went straight to 22 out of, tw oh. out of 20. Neat. Okay, there's an AP up for Sora. Good stuff. Do we have anything I can use it on right now? So we got Sliding Dash, we have Strike Raid. I could probably get rid of Strike Raid without having too much of an issue. Um, is there anything I'd want to equip instead, though? <sighs> I kind of want Lucky, you know, um, not Lucky Chance, but um, I kind of want Second Chance, but we would still need one more point, even if I got rid of uh, Strike Raid. Okay. Let's go try the Seesaw! We're not quite done here yet. We're getting close. Okay. Can I help you? Can I from assist in I some way? I say, from what I remember, the the uh, the pot one is something that people tend to have quite a lot of uncharitable terms for. Mhm. Mm oh, did I already do this? Oh, I already did the entire point of that. Okay. And a rare nut. Ah, those. Right. I those are what I was thinking stuff, of right? before. You trade them for, for items, from what I remember. I think. And I think and they're they're oh, things they're you want. They're things you very much want. Yeah, and the problem is there's a ton of them. And the good news is I'm doing this with um with high jump and glide available to me. Come on, come on. How do I get this one? Why why can't I have this? Can, can I can I not have this? 
Okay, Use we'll something see. to it. And the thing with um, the thing with this is that the uh, the seesaw will jump you up. I don't know how I did it last time. How I got that last one. You don't hit it. Is it just is that the one I need? What the hell did I do? You can't you can't lock onto it, so you can't fire it. Do you blizzard it? No. I, I I don't. I, I What did I do with the other one? I did some do I have to oh do I have to trade them in first? I think you might have to trade them in one at a time. Is it they go to owl. Okay. There's power up. Yeah, I think you have to I think you can only get one at a time. That might be it. Uh let's just get Rue to send me up there again. Let's see if that's the deal. Yep, that's it. You just have to get one at a time. Okay. Defense up. We need Rue to send us up again. I've always loved Rue as a character. He's a fun little guy. <laughs> Tries to be so big and, you know, like uh, like Tigger. And then every so often, there's that moment of, nope, 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 I'm going home to mom. <laughs> this has become all too real for me. Well, that's because he still has common sense, unlike Tigger. Common sense? What's that? Something sadly lacking in the Thunder Acre Woods? I think we still have one more uh, minigame we have to do here, too. Mm. There's an AP up, so there we go. Now I can get second chance by getting rid of, um... By, uh, getting rid of, uh, Strike Raid. Come on, I want that. Did I... I can't have this one? Do I currently have a nut on me and I, and I missed it? No, I don't have a nut on me. How do I get this one? I do I have to honest, up on that tree to get it? No. This is, I honestly I do not remember these anymore. I honestly don't remember where all of them are. I'm just grabbing them as I see them. Uh, let's go ahead and let Tigger bounce us because I'm sure that there's some in the direction that he sends us. And it's a lot easier to get Tigger to send you than to go yourself. Uh, let's see. I don't see anymore. Is the Mithril, sh or is the AP up he just gave me the last reward from that? No, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to give you some more. Like, I remember when I was doing, looking at this one, I remember there being things like, um... I remember this does something, too. But what I don't remember is what. <laughs> I think for that, I have to talk to Pooh. Let's see. Pooh? No, this tree does not have honey. That is correct. Okay, never mind. Um, there's something in here. I forget how we're supposed to get it, though. Do I... Okay, that gets that. Now, I think for this... Is this fire? No. Is it blizzard? No. The problem is there's nothing to lock on to, so it's not something I can lock on and uh, do something to. Uh, mm -hmm. God, I can't remember some of this stuff. It has been so long since I last did this section of the 100 Acre Wood. Okay, is there any other bonus that I am missing in this direction? Okay, I don't see any other nuts is the thing. I think that was, that one that I can't seem to get appears to be the last one. Nope, don't knock me all the way to the ground. Okay, it's going to do it. Owl's still asking for one, though. Yeah, there's 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 a way to get more, but I don't remember where. <laughs> I swear one of these one of these stumps does something else. Fire. Hmm. Is this Fire. At least if I remember correctly it does. 
So there's that one nut right there. We might be done with this section is the thing. Like, this might be... It's possible we did everything in here. The problem is I just... I don't remember. You see how this is pushed down? Yeah, there's a way to... On the other... Oh, there's something to do with... <sighs> there we go. That pushes that down, which pushes this up. There's the rare nut. Okay, so that took care of that. And that gets us Orcalcum. And that's the last nut. Okay. So that's done. Now, I, there's something... Is it this? Yep. That pushes up Piglet's uh, log. The question is, do I care? Is this something I need to work? No. <laughs> Because I already was able to get up here. Okay, we're done here. Piglet. I don't know what this is. It's it's a it's a geyser. And Pooh just says there's nothing in this tree. Yeah, we already got the thing out of that tree. We got the shield two gummy. Okay, so we're done here. I think I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and uh, use those items real quick, and we'll go to. What I believe is the last mini game in Hundred Acre Wood. I don't remember. This, I honestly, I don't remember any of these anymore. Like I thought I did, but now, now I'm just. Well, usually when you're done with a section, you get a you get an additional bonus. Yep, there it is. Torn page turned into mithril. Okay, so that's done. So now we need to go to. The most obnoxious minigame in the entire Hundred Acre Wood. Actually, this may be one of the most obnoxious thing in the entire game. I may I don't remember this one. I may I may have um blocked it I'm out. I'm gonna remember it in a minute. No, I I may have blocked it out for my own safety. It's a possibility. Or the, or they'll get away. The people who took everyone away. See the footprints. Yep. And Pooh has been following these put, footprints all day long. Okay, so the game here is less a game and more an exercise in futility and annoyance. So what you have to do is you have to find everyone. Which isn't really hard. You know, this is not we're not exactly playing a high level hide and seek. So we'll go ahead and find uh, find Eeyore right there. We comment this place already feels like a house. So what we have to do, and this is why this is obnoxious, you have to go here, and then what you gotta do is you gotta target everybody. No, no, not that. I need to hit. No. That. There we go. Hello. Okay, so we found Rue, and so we gotta bring Rue back here. We have to bring everybody back to this point, and it's just... It's an exercise in futility. You eventually can do it, but you 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 end up hating yourself. Yay. So we gotta bring Rue. Who? No. Who? Come here. But the, one of the problems is you have to bring Pooh with you because some of them will not join you unless Pooh is here. Hey, Pooh, see these flowers? And there goes Pooh. Yep. So this gets Pooh on the second level, which is where we're going to find Tigger. I think... Yeah, we can get this too. I forget why you use the wind tunnel. You use it for some... Oh, right. Now I remember. So the thing is, Eeyore doesn't want to come with you. Well, that's not surprising. You're not Eeyore. No. No, Tigger does. It's someone... This lo You have to do something with this log. 
And it involves, let's see, there's Rabbit. Hello, Rabbit. No, Rabbit, come here. God damn it. You're Rabbit. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so I'm so happy that you followed Owl. This this place is so close you can see each other. I don't understand what the problem is. Spatial awareness is not their strong point, clearly. Awareness of anything is not their strong point. Just awareness in general. Hmm. <laughs> not a strong point. Okay, if I remember correctly, what you gotta do is you gotta bring Poo through here. Hmm. So Pooh walks through. I think he decides he doesn't want to go through the spider web, right? So then what you do is you go, okay, Pooh, here's a reason to come in here. Hmm. Here's a reason to join me. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. Well, he hasn't seen it yet. Yeah. Well, there's I, what I thought it did. I, I thought the I thought the bees came out and made Pooh want to go through. I think what I do is I think you. There we go. Come on, Boo. No, no, through here. Through the tunnel. Oh, okay. oh, right, right. That, that gives him a bridge. Okay. I can't remember why we need Pooh up here, but I remember that we do. Maybe we need him for Piglet. That's probably what we need him for. Pooh, over here. I need you to inspect these flowers. If only they were this easy. Now, are these the same glowing blue butterflies that we saw on Deep Jungle? That's an excellent question. I swear these butterflies go everywhere. Hey, Owl, I want you to go back. Yeah, take your wise ass over to here. Yep, just stay in there. <sighs> Is that all? No, we still need Piglet. All right, Piglet. We're almost done. I was going to say, where'd Piglet, where's Piglet gotten to? Uh, Piglet's inside the big tree, but Piglet won't come out unless Pooh's there. So that's why you got to get Pooh all the way over there is because Piglet won't come out without Pooh. So you just got to figure out exactly how to get him over there unless you see stuff like the... Uh, you know, like the like the log and stuff like that. You'll never find a way to get Pooh up there. Gave me endless trouble when I was a kid. Yay, we saved Piglet. <laughs> I don't know where we are, but I know where we should go. And there's Piglet, all the way down there. Some sort of weird super tunnel. Okay, come on, Pooh. Time to go home. I think Pooh, yeah, Pooh finds his own way down. And then we go say hi to Piglet. And Piglet goes to the big stick house. Did you ever have bushes like those when you were a kid? Uh, I did, actually. I remember having some by a local soccer field. We would, I would, I loved going into those. Back in the first house we hello. lived in, we had something like hello. That looks nice. I like that. And that is the end of the Hundred Acre Wood. <laughs> and so we get our, our nice denouement. Oh, when I was all alone. Oh, you gotta be brave. Be brave, like Tigger. Lonely at all? Lonely? Are you kidders? I'm a Tigger. Being alone is what Tiggers do best. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. But I do admit, friends are awfully fun too. <laughs> Damn, we need to hear we need to hear the real Tigger uh the real Tigger laugh. We didn't get to hear it at all. I would replicate it here, but I don't think I've got the right kind of voice for it. Not anymore. I don't think I can do it well is the problem. Mm -mm. There's a reason I don't do impressions much. I almost I want to this is a, the same thing I sort of want to burst into the Tigger song, but I don't remember enough of it. Sora, where are you going? I can remember most of it. I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Mm -hmm. back again. <laughs> and Pooh, would you like to say something? Find your friends. Come on, Pooh. Now's the time. 
There we go. And Pooh comes out to say hi. I, I love Sora's little, you know, I've got to leave them all, but quick, Sora, one last hurrah. Don't forget, we shall always be here. And Pooh does have a point. Like again, mm -hmm. Pooh does have a point. They will always be there. Of course. That's sort of half the fun. It's kind of the nature of a book, really. And we get the quick uh, star in the sky. I really like how it does turn into the book, like the art style. Mm. I've always appreciated that. And that is simply awesome. I've always loved that. Just a little change in the end there, yeah. Especially if you know what the original cover actually looks like. I have um, a copy of the, like, an original, original hardback of this. I used to have one. Unfortunately, it got destroyed in a hurricane. Ooh. Mm-hmm. You have earned a trophy, Pooh's friend. No one more deserving. And a close of the book. So that is the Book of Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. So that's it for uh, the Hundred Acre Wood. Let's uh, go ahead and redeem one of the rewards we got. Hello. Okay. So we got another summon gem. So we're going to get Bambi. Bambi's okay. There's nothing really good about that particular summon gem. But uh, it's, you know, it's there. It's the best thing I can say about it. Now, apart from a single, I think, one cutscene, synthesis, and one trinity, we're done with Traverse Town. Yay! Yeah, that's pretty nice. When we come back next time, guys... Okay, Rock, can you just not... Thank you. When we come back next time, we will be heading off to another world. It'll be a fun time. Oh, God. I forget which one. Oh, wait. Is this the one I think it is? Yes, yes. this is the oh, one you think it is. God. Oh, what we need to do, though, before we do that... <sighs> EXP ring? <laughs> Slight increases experience obtained by 20%. And slightly increases max MP. Well now. That's a thing. Let's see. AP doesn't drop. Let's see. Do I have... The thing is, it's going to... I think we could probably... I could live with that. Drop of 2 strength for 20% experience. I could, I could live with that. Definitely. And that's actually a ring we can create. That is something we can make. Uh, we need to have the right pieces for it, and I just, I haven't felt like grinding to get the pieces for it. But that is actually an item we could make. Uh, we also did get Stopra back there, so we do have the ability to do a longer stop. I still want Stop God before we actually try to do anything. Mm. Uh, okay, folks, so when I see you guys next time, we're going to go to the synthesis room real quick, see if there's anything new we can make, because we did get a couple extra pieces. Uh, and then we shall move on to the next world. As such, we'll see you next time.